Now, humanitarian aid needs to come into Gaza as well, and that is again something that world leaders are working towards. Diplomacy is in full swing here. In a press conference at the United Nations, Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan and Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan stressed the need for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. So we are here to make a clear statement that a truce is not enough. What is needed is a ceasefire. What is needed is a credible peace and a peace that lasts and that allows the Palestinians and the Israelis to live side by side in two states. Anything else will result in continuing crisis in the region. Thank you. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi spoke after addressing the Security Council on West Asia. Wang called for a comprehensive and lasting ceasefire in Gaza. We welcome the humanitarian pause reached last week, but peace cannot be circumcised and there should be a time limit to a ceasefire. The window of opportunity once opened should not be closed again. The fighting once stopped should not flare up again. We cannot allow the humanitarian disaster to continue or tolerate even more suffering or losses among the civilians. He further added that the two-state solution is the only way to fundamentally resolve the Palestinian question. The two-state solution is the only way to fundamentally resolve the Palestinian question. Meanwhile, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, while calling for an expansion of the current pause in the Israel Hamas conflict, said that Gazans are in the midst of an epic humanitarian catastrophe. The people of Gaza are in the midst of an epic humanitarian catastrophe before the eyes of the world. We must not look away. Intense negotiations are taking place to prolong the truce which we strongly welcome, but we believe we need a true humanitarian ceasefire. The United States has taken part in building the negotiations for the extension of the ceasefire. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield said that her country is hopeful that the truce in Gaza can be extended and that the decision lies in the hands of Hamas. We're hopeful uh, that the truce uh, can be extended, but as I said in the council, this is all in the hands of Hamas. The Israelis have said if they continue to release uh, 10 hostages a day, they will extend uh, by a day. So it truly is, uh, it is in their hands, but I do think there is a potential for that. Uh, and we're actively working uh, to extend the, the, uh, the deal. Meanwhile, Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyadh al-Maliki said that the Palestinian people are faced with an existential threat amid the conflict. We thank Qatar and Egypt for their efforts that led to a truce. But the truce must become a ceasefire, a permanent ceasefire. The massacres cannot be allowed to resume. This is not a war. This is a carnage that nothing and no one can justify. It must be brought to an end. On the other hand, Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdogan, said that anyone who supports a ceasefire basically supports Hamas' continued reign of terror in Gaza. Negotiations between Israel and Hamas to extend the Gaza truce were overshadowed at the last minute on Wednesday by an unconfirmed claim by Hamas that a family of Israeli hostages, including a 10-month-old baby, had been killed. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.